Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. My name is Priscilla Kaidiri de Vettel Suma. We women, we should be careful those we report our husband to. Both men. Because this day, the person you thought is your best friend is your worst enemy. Christ said, household enemy. In my place, there is an agent that says that is the rat inside that we tell those outside that there is meat in such a spot. Be careful. Those you thought that they love you, you run your mouth. You, you tell them everything concerning your marriage. They hate you. They don't like you. After telling them, they will go back and gossip with it. They will go back and be talking about it. They will go back and be reporting you. Your friend that you thought is your friend, it might be unfriendly friend. We should be careful, especially as Christian, especially as a woman of God. We are partner with our husband. The Bible said the husband is the head of the family. Your husband is your head. Why you? You are the neck. Stop reporting your husband. Those who thought they love you, they don't like you. They don't love you because after gossip, you tell them everything about your husband. They will use it to attack you. Then when you start receiving strange bullets, you don't, that is, a, I call it unnecessary war. Because of your mouth. Oh, my husband is this. My wife is this. My daddy. Who told you? There is no perfect husband. There is no perfect woman. There is no perfect children. There is no perfect family. But in Christ, perfection will come. We women, we should stop gossip about our husband to the so-called boy, uh, to the so-called our friend, best friend. There is no best friend. Anything you cannot confide in your husband, don't tell it even to your mom. These days, when you tell somebody about your husband, you have given them an avenue to be what? They will label him. When you tell people that your husband is a yeah yeah man, you too you are a yeah yeah woman. Because a yeah yeah woman, Mareto, a yeah yeah man. It is what you call your husband. People will call your husband for you. I have an aunt. This one, she is my aunt. The best friend took a husband. My my aunt now leave the marriage. The the so called best friend is now the one in the family. Why my aunt now is now outside. And this is the girl that was coming to her. She will plait her hair every Sunday. She will plait her hair every Sunday. This same girl, she called her best friend. This same girl has done what? Has taken over a matrimonial home. My aunt now is now looking what she has slept bought for from outside. We should be careful. When it comes to marriage, we should guide it jealously. Guide your family, your marriage is your family. Don't say your husband out because you are clear through carelessness. Most of us, the problem we are facing today, we face it because of true carelessness. Christ said it in the book of Matthew. He said, Every careless word will be accounted for, even concerning your marriage. You got married, God bless you. You have children, you have a job, you have a husband, and you are complaining about that man. Some think back. You should sit there and count your blessing. Think back. There are those you were born together, they are not alive today. That is number one. Glory be to God. There are those who are not even married. Glory be to God. There are those that, that are married, they don't have children. Glory be to God. And there are those, they don't even have husband, they don't even have a wife, they don't even have anything. And you have the same age, and you are complaining. You are reporting your husband to demons. You are reporting your husband to Satan. 
And when they will take that man matter and take him to the couple and table it, they will say the wife reported or the husband reported the matter to us. It is a rat in the house that will invite those outside to come inside. Do you know the person you are reporting your husband to or your wife to if he's a witch that will take the matter and table it in their cover and he will say, ah, is the man is the one that reported him to Russell? Is the one that reported her to Russell? You are now a link. It is when there is a crack, that is when the setter will bite. That is when the scorpion, that is what the scripture say. It is when there is a crack. When there is a crack, that is when the serpent, the scorpion, they will bite. Don't be the one that will crack your marriage. And when Satan bites you tomorrow, you will start running at a scatter for deliverance. We should be wise. Jesus Christ said we should be wise as the serpent, but be as solely as the dove. Guide your family jealously, both man, both woman. This is the time that we should table everything before God. Don't complain over anything. Pray over everything. Don't be like the children of the Israelites because they complain. They couldn't see the promised land. Majority, eighty percent of them, or ninety percent of them. Under the age above 20, perish in the wilderness because they murmured and complained. Today, many of us are not enjoying our marriage because we cost it ourselves. What you're not supposed to say, you will, you will be saying it. Those, your, your best friend, that's a best friend. Your best friend, that's a best friend. The best friend, that's a best Look at it. You started it. Just one seed. It has grown. It has germinated. It has so many seeds. We should not be the one that will bring down our family that don't report your spouse. Stop complaining. Instead of you to complain, check the scripture very well. We should imitate our mother in the Lord. Sarah, who called Abraham, is Lord. Do you think that they don't have problem? This is a woman that was 90 years old before God blessed her. The scripture says, Sarah called Abraham his Lord. Can you call your husband your Lord? The man you are telling people that is a yeah, yeah man. Some of us want to tell people that we do everything in the family. We owe everything in the family. If not because of us, the man will not survive. The woman will not survive. Let me tell you, marriage is give and take. Marriage is compromise. It is when you compromise either the woman or the man, that is when the two will not become one. It is only in the Bible, one plus one is one, not two. That is in marriage. Both spirit and in the physical, you people are one. Come to a compromise. Instead of you to, because when you complain too much, have you really assessed yourself? Have you really assessed yourself? We are the, because most of we that complain, the problem comes from us. The problem comes from us. Sit down, reevaluate, reassess yourself, and know where the problem is coming from. Call your spouse. Tell him where the problem is coming from. If you have found it, you two of you should pray it out together. Praise the Lord. Please. Don't narrate to your husband to the extent that nobody respects your wife again. Nobody respects your husband again because you have reported that to everybody in the family. Those people, how many of them have they how many of them really reported their own spouse to you? No. No. Please, it is high time for us to reevaluate ourselves. Thank you and God bless you. My name is Priscilla Kadiri, the virtuous woman. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Follow me on TikTok and on Facebook. I love you, but Jesus Christ loves you more. Please give your life unto God. The time is running out. It might be too late. There is no time. Give your life unto God. Jesus Christ will see you through and he will bought our marriage for us in the name of Jesus.